We're gonna talk about Kevin's story of resilience. We're gonna go back 20 years ago to that 2001 season. Uh, what was a, a very tough moment for Kevin tearing his ACL, but then ultimately resulted in just an incredible comeback, you two working together uh, to get Kevin back on the field and ultimately up to that run to the 2003 Super Bowl. So gentlemen, thank you both so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. So Kevin, let's let's start with you and go back to 2001. What do you remember about that game, that moment when the injury occurred? Well, you know, going into that game, uh, we had won the opening game of the season, but then after that had gone on a little bit of a losing streak where maybe sixth or seventh game into the season, I believe. And we were on the road against uh, the Washington football team and we're doing great. Uh, in the first half, we were running all over the place with Tim, Tim Biaka Batuka. The offensive line was firing all cylinders. Uh, we were getting ready to run a play. And uh, one of my former compadres on the offensive line actually jumped off sides. So as soon as the ball was snapped, um, the play was blown dead. And just in that moment, I was going against uh, big daddy Dan Wilkinson from the Ohio State University and just something just kind of popped. There was no pain. Uh, I didn't feel anything that was uncomfortable at the time. I just knew something just wasn't quite right. And, you know, like any athlete, you kind of just try to shake it off. You know, is it okay? Let me bend it. Let me squat a little bit. And it just never, it didn't feel like anything that had ever happened to my body before. And after 10 seasons in the NFL, you kind of gotten dinged up all over the place. You just have a, a little bit of a, a doctor's degree and in, in health because all the different treatments and injuries you sustain and rehab everything you go through it just there was something I hadn't experienced before so it was it was kind of weird getting injured on a no play so many times I got dinged up in games or after games and getting checked by doctors and the doctors grab and pull and poke and prod and do all these different things and they kind of look at each other and you know you have this kind of quiet confidence like they've got it under control and um, this time when Dr. Connor went to feel my knee, you know, did one of the tests, I think it's called a drawer test. You kind of pull it and there was some laxity there. And instead of kind of nodding or whatever, I, to me, what I saw was him look immediately at Dr. Anderson, who usually isn't on the road trips. I think he was there for that game and they both kind of gave each other a look. And I was like, oh man, this is, this is more serious than I thought it was. And, um, ended up tearing my ACL. And, uh, you know, for me, it was, it was kind of a shock at the time because I'd never had any major injury during a season where suddenly when you hear ACL, you know the season's over. Here's Kevin Donnelly, uh, a, a, a big free agent with our organization. He's a 10 or 11, I forget how many years, 10 or so year veteran, you know, one of the, one of the best players on our team, tears his ACL and, and uh, uh, he's also, uh, and, and don't tell him I said this, but he's also a pretty smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that he considers himself, you know, he has an honorary doctorate, right? He said that himself a few minutes ago. <laughs> I think uh, KDMD, I think is what it is. He did his own research and he looked into himself and he also had a decade or so worth of experience behind him. You know, he, he had been surrounded by really good team doctors at uh, uh, his previous teams. I think he previously, previously was with Miami before he came with us. And he went around and he talked to other doctors, talked to other players, uh, and, and, and went to one particular doctor for, for a second opinion and kind of uh, uh, kind of put him on the spot, said, hey, doc, what, what about this? What about that? At the end of the day, he, uh, uh, he came back and he said, uh, uh, hey, doc, I want you to take care of my knee, which was really uh, a vote of confidence. And, and, uh, and I said, look, bud, we'll, we'll do a real good job and uh, I'll do my job. You'll do your job. Therapy will go well and uh, it'll be a team effort and uh, get you back out there, so. How did you both handle the emotional part of it? You know, Kevin, for you specifically, like you said, when you hear that word, you know that that means a season, especially at that time. I think the real emotional toll started to take place after I had the surgery and two, three weeks after that, when it started to feel pretty good and the team's still playing and they're about, they're probably like one and nine, one and 10, uh, during that 2001 season and you know when things are good you don't want to miss out but when things are going tough you want to be there with your buddies you want to be there with your teammates and you know I felt like I was on the outside looking in because Dr. Connor knows and Kristen you know this it's you're on everyone's on that train to go 
to get to the playoffs and hopefully get to a Super Bowl. And that is the season. That's what you sign up for. And when there's injuries, you know, you take stops and guys get off along the way. The next season came back, uh, you know, I had to earn my way back in. That's, I can tell that story in a minute. But two years later, we drafted Jordan Gross. And I'm a competitor at heart. This is my 13th year in the league. He is a rookie, eighth pick of the draft, supposed to be the golden child, which he ended up becoming. It's an outstanding player, Hall of Honor guy. So um, we're in the offseason, and Jerry Simmons, the old weight coach, you know, we're still running 40s in the offseason for time, if you can believe it or not. Didn't care about getting injured or anything like that. We ran 40s that spring, and I ran faster than Jordan Gross. A very proud moment that I was 13 years in the league, had all this stuff stacked against me with my age and injuries, and this guy's young. I mean, he's fresh. He's out of the package, brand new, you know, <laughs> just entering the NFL. Um he probably just didn't care as much about that race. He had just got picked eighth and probably had a lot of money in the bank and was just wondering, you know, when his first start was going to be. But for me, that was, that was something uh, I could always tell him that, you know what, when we raced, when we went toe to toe, I was faster than you, Jordan. You just talked about, you know, going toe to toe with Jordan Gross. You fight for your place back. And then less than two seasons later, the 2003 season, you, you go with the Panthers on this incredible run all the way to the Super Bowl. Did it, did it all feel a little bit sweeter? Were you able to appreciate each time you stepped on the field a little bit more because of what you went through in that 2001 season? 100%. Um, for me, it was a very tough transition coming off of the injury because that 2001 season, um, Coach Seifert got fired and they brought in John Fox. So he's new. He wants to make over the whole team, which he should. Because if you're 1-15, I would want a lot of new faces in that locker room also. 1-15 players don't get to stick around very much. Plus, I'm the older guy going on my 12th season at that point. This is the part that I can, I can truly tell Dr. Connor, thank you for doing such a good job because um, the rehab process, the surgery, the, the timeline they gave me, the things to be careful of and to watch out for, all those different things that, that are that process over that eight, month of, eight months of trying to get back um, kept me on track. And when I got to training camp, got to go full speed. And there weren't days that I had to, to hobble around or rested or anything like that. And um, for me, just getting back on the field in 2002 um, with Coach Fox, earning my place on that roster, going seven and nine, and then that next year, um, you know, my knee felt great in 2003. The rest of my body was starting to break down. And that's when I kind of really started to talk to my wife and say, is this maybe my last run? And uh, my contract's up, so it's perfect timing. Let's just give 2003 all we got and, and see where this thing leads us this year. And what an unbelievable journey. And uh, although we lost the, the game to the eventual champions, the Patriots, not one person stepped off that field feeling like a loser because of everything that we overcame. There's a lot of things that season that Pete, that are Panther fans understand. Um, and to be able to get to that game and then go toe to toe with the greatest quarterback of all time. It was, it was a great journey and um, to walk off that field and physically feel okay from it. And especially not have any other issues or problems with the knee. It was, uh, I'm thankful today. Like I said, it, it, it's the least of my concerns right now. And that's the biggest compliment I can give you, Dr. Connor. Well, that's, that's music to my ears and, and uh, uh, it, means, it means a lot. And I appreciate your words. Thank you both so much for, for letting me listen in and sharing these stories with everyone. Um, this was just incredible. I thank you both for the time. Thank, thank you, Kristen. Good to talk to you, Kev. Take care, Dr. Connor. You got it.